Whether you have physical goods, digital downloads, or a service you want to offer, using the online marketplace to sell your goods is an excellent way to build a good revenue stream. If you've always wanted to sell something online but didn't know where to start, this is the video you're looking for because we're going to go through just how to do that. Let's jump in. So while it may seem common sense, the first step in selling online is to have a product to sell in the first place. Choosing the right product is super important because you want to make sure that it's something that's in demand and also can generate a good profit. Thankfully for you, there are a lot of awesome free tools that you can use when you're looking to research customer demand. You can utilize things like Google Trends, Google Keyword Planner, Amazon bestsellers, eBay trending items, and online forums and communities when you're looking to evaluate your customer demand. Rather than just chasing general demand, focus on products that solve a specific customer problem or need. Fulfilling an unmet need better than competitors gives your business a meaningful edge. Now, once you have a product in mind that you want to sell, the next thing you need to consider is how you're going to sell the product. And this is where choosing the right online sales channel is very important. There are three main ways that you can go about doing this. First of all would be to build your own online e-commerce store. Creating a custom website for an e-commerce online store gives you the most control and flexibility over the shopping experience. You can use a platform like WordPress or a website building platform like Wix or Shopify, which offer easy do-it-yourself options. The pros of building your online store include first that you get to build your brand, you can also customize the experience however you want, and you're in control of your own customer data. There are a couple downsides though, which could include a higher upfront cost because setting up and managing your online store does require more initial effort, and also all the tech and marketing tasks do fall on you. Now, another way that you can sell products online is to use an established e-commerce marketplace. This includes places like Amazon, eBay, and Etsy, which all provide instant access to a large customer base and pre-existing technology to do it. Pros for going about this way include instant access to millions of buyers and built-in tools and infrastructure. Since marketplaces often offer robust tools for managing inventory, handling payments, and streamlining shipping processes, which save a lot of time and effort. There are a couple of downsides though to e-commerce marketplaces, which include very limited brand control, and also they'll generally take a fee for your sales. When selling on established platforms, you'll typically incur fees per sale or a percentage of each transaction. And the third way to do this is by using social commerce platforms. This includes selling directly on platforms like Facebook and Instagram. Some pros to going about this would be being able to tap into captive loyal audiences, native mobile experiences, and built-in advertising tools. Since social media platforms have millions of active users, presenting an opportunity to reach and engage with a large and captive audience could be very powerful. Downsides though to social commerce include limited product showcasing and brand capability, and limited data collection. Selling through social commerce limits your ability to showcase an extensive product catalog or customize the shopping experience to the same extent as your online store. Now, if you decide to go the WordPress route, you'll likely want to use WooCommerce to help you set up your online store. WooCommerce is the go-to solution for WordPress, and it's one of the many great e-commerce plugins you can use to enhance your online store. If you're looking for ultimate flexibility, then using WordPress with WooCommerce is a no-brainer. Whether you're setting up a small boutique store or a sprawling online marketplace, there are plenty of WooCommerce themes designed to help you create a unique and engaging shopping experience for your customer. Now, if you decide you don't want to go the WordPress route and you want to use a website builder, then Shopify is an excellent choice for selling products. Shopify is one of the largest e-commerce platforms out there for a reason. They allow you to build an online storefront using a drag and drop store creator with no coding expertise required and a really short amount of time. Shopify gives you a lot of excellent tools to grow your business, so whether you want to sell products down the street or around the world, they have all of the tools that you need. Now, if you want a step-by-step -step guide on how to set up either of these platforms, I'm going to leave a link to a blog article down in the video description below. If you check that out, it's going to give you a lot more in-depth information on all the steps that I'm going to go through in the rest of the video, as well as a really great in-depth follow-through step-by-step guide on how to set up WooCommerce with WordPress or Shopify and other website builders. Now, once your online store is set up, the next thing you're going to want to do is to market your site. There is a lot that goes into marketing and some key strategies that you can use to employ are first to set up search engine optimization, making sure you have your social media marketing nailed down. There's also email marketing to look into, influencer marketing, and also paid advertising. All of these are crucial when it comes to marketing your online store, and they all come with a lot of different benefits. The good news is there are a lot of plugins available as well to help you with these tasks. For instance, if you're looking for help with your search engine optimization, 
you might want to consider looking into a plugin like Rank Math. Rank Math is a powerful SEO plugin for WordPress that offers amazing real-time insights about your site's SEO. With Rank Math, you can optimize all of your WooCommerce SEO for product pages, category pages, and on-page SEO on the fly as needed. Now, another often overlooked facet to running an online store is to provide excellent customer support for your customers. Exceptional customer service keeps buyers happy and encourages repeat business and referrals. There are a lot of critical elements to consider with your customer service, such as making sure you respond quickly to customer questions and concerns, providing regular order status updates and shipping notifications, encouraging your customers to leave ratings, reviews, and testimonials about their experience with your products and services, and small things like using handwritten notes to create a personal touch. Top tier customer service can differentiate you from your competitors and create a loyal customer base that supports your business in the long run. Now, those are just the very basics to get out there and start selling online. Again, check out that blog article down in the video description. It has a lot more tips on how to boost online sales as well, such as things like optimizing for your mobile browsing experiences, how to use high quality images, writing strong product descriptions, and so much more. So make sure you check it out because it can really help you with your online presence. Thank you so much for watching this video. I greatly appreciate it. Before you go though, make sure you check out some of our other content and I'll see you in the next one.